My name is Mark Ryan Dharmaraj. I joined WWF Malaysia in 2004 because I believe in the mission to save our biodiversity, especially our tigers. The tiger is the most majestic animal in our forest. It is the king of the jungle. They are apex predators. They regulate their prey like the samba deer, which in turn controls the vegetation. Their connection to the food web is essential. And when tigers thrive, so do our forests. We need tigers more than we think we do. Globally, tiger numbers have plummeted. There are fewer than 4,000 tigers in the wild, occupying less than 7% of their historical range. An international pledge was made at St. Petersburg in 2010 at the Global Tiger Summit to double the number of tigers. Malaysia was then a signatory. Two years prior, Malaysia had already pledged to double tiger numbers when we launched the National Tiger Conservation Action Plan. With 80 actions, the aim was to go from 500 to 1,000 tigers in our jungles by 2020. But unfortunately, instead of doubling tiger numbers, Malaysia has half the numbers with only 250 left in the wild. The Malayan tiger is now critically endangered under IUCN's red list. And that basically paints a bleak scenario for our Malayan tigers. But other countries around the world have been successful in protecting their tigers. In India and Nepal, tiger numbers are increasing. These countries have bigger problems than Malaysia. Their forests are more fragmented, the human population is bigger, and they have major poverty issues. But it is their leaders and their governments that have the will to protect tigers as part of their ecosystem. They ensure there are enough rangers and patrollers keeping out the poachers. Currently, the main threat for tigers is basically poaching. All around the world, tigers are in high demand for traditional Chinese medicine. Their skin, their teeth, their penis, even their whiskers are used as acupuncture needles. Their black market value is higher than any other species. Malaysia's jungles are now inundated with poachers, not only from local villages, but mainly from outside the country, from Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos. We are allowing foreigners to come to our country to plunder our national heritage. Thousands of snares are being set in our forests, and it's just a matter of time before they wipe out our tigers and other species too. The Tiger Conservation Action Plan, it has not been implemented holistically. Resources have not been efficiently mobilised and sufficient funding has not been allocated for the action plan. If there are no people or no money, we cannot achieve our main goal of doubling tiger numbers, let alone saving them. WWF Malaysia committedly supports the government in their efforts to save tigers in the Belum Temenggu Forest Complex. And we have our own tiger conservation programme with several threat reduction elements. We have an anti-poaching patrol team to help the authorities to reduce poaching problems. We currently only have three teams, but we hope to increase this number in the near future. We have a monitoring team that is helping to unravel how many tigers there are in the area. We also have people working on the ground, engaging the local communities, basically to get the orang aslis to be the eyes and the ears for the authorities to reduce poaching. In addition, we also monitor the land use in and around the area 
as well as try to advocate for better management practices within protected areas and sustainable timber production for us. WWF also organizes high-level conferences and dialogues to garner support from all stakeholders that have a role to play to save tigers. In 2017, the Royal Bloom Declaration was established in the presence of His Royal Highness Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, President of WWF UK, and His Royal Highness Sultan Nazrin Shah, the patron of WWF Malaysia, to save tigers by increasing patrols in Bloom and to achieve zero poaching in the state by 2020. Royal Bloom State Park is also committed to save tigers by registering for Conservation Assured Tiger Standards, or better known as CATS. This is essentially a set of minimum standards to guide effective management of an area for tiger conservation. Royal Bloom State Park is the first site, not only in Malaysia, but also Southeast Asia, that has registered. Our tigers are a shared resource. Never has the plight to save them been so urgent. It's now or never. Tiger conservation needs to be a national priority and all parties need to play a role. The federal government, state governments, the Department of Wildlife and National Parks, Forestry Department, and even the police and the army just to name a few. Without everyone on board together, and if we don't step up, we will lose our tigers. Do we want to be known by our children and our grandchildren to be the generation that lost the Malayan tiger under our watch?